So I want to get into your professional journey because you've carved out an incredible niche solely through the internet. Uh-huh. Um, but it's impossible to tell that story without first diving into what we've kind of been referring to in our text chain as quote unquote, the wheelchair stuff. The wheelchair stuff. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I get, that, that's obviously I, your story to tell. I will cede the floor to you. Yeah. It's, it's sure. I'm sure people can see like I'm a little fidgety when I'm on camera. I, so we'll go, let's back up like 2005. So 2005, I'm at school at Temple. I am not uh, yet injured. I'm walking around. I'm doing my thing. I fell. I got really drunk at a party and I fell out of my lofted bed and I broke the C4 vertebrae in my neck. And then I went to the hospital. And the long story short, I am mostly paralyzed from the neck down. I can use my right arm high, which is I was left handed before. So I, that was fun. But uh, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. It's a good time. You think like, Again, learning to type and do everything again, but also with my wrong hand. It's great. But um, so I did like physical rehab after that. And then I went back and I went back to school, got my degree from Temple. And I actually went to Temple Law School, which is a whole stupid thing we could talk about later if you want. But (laughs) that was actually, believe it or not, the period when my weird internet professional journey started. Because like I'm sitting in the dorms and you know, I'm going out and I'm doing stuff and I still have a personal life or anything, but I'm spending a lot of time clicking around the internet. And that's where I sort of started getting introduced to like blogs and, you know, some of the ones that you were associated with. So that's kind of the way my journey started to get where I'm at now started in a lot of ways because I fell out of a loft and broke the bone in my neck. So that's, I think that's kind of the intro that we need to get started where we're going. If you want to jump in at any point and questions or comments, please fire away. But um, yeah, I'd like to go back to the the part about <laughs> you glossed over the fact that you finished law school through all of this. Yeah. So I so I went back to school and I got my degree in 2008, and I got a degree in communications. But when I got my degree, I actually got done like much faster than I expected. So I kind of applied to law school on a whim, just like I don't know what I'm doing. Let me and I got in. So I was like, that's kind of cool. So I went and I did it. But uh, so here's, I did the three years of law school. I graduated. I did the internship. I passed the bar exam. These are all things that happened that don't feel real. But um, (laughs) what was really dumb, like two things happened too. It's like I started realizing I didn't exactly love the idea of being a lawyer. And as I kept come to find out since, a lot of people who are in the type of jobs that we are in were once lawyers and are like, this sucks. I don't do this anymore. But uh, the other thing that's actually kind of weird is, so I got done with law school in 2011. And the way the benefits programs were set up, if I would have taken a job as a lawyer at the time in Pennsylvania, where I live, I would have had to pay for all of my home care out of pocket, which would have like negated the whole point of making a lawyer salary. So that's where I started like, I had already started like working a little bit with Uproxx, but then Warm and Glow and, and all that. And so they were able to kind of say, how much money can you make without it triggering this thing? So that's kind of why I started doing that part time was just making money and doing whatever. And so once those programs eventually opened up again, then I was luckily, I was able to go full time at Uprox. And once that happened, that kind of put the nail on the coffin of the law degree. Amazing. Do you still have it uh, presented in your house, though? I'm sure I, that I'm sure it's on the wall. I just no, it's not on the wall. I have like pictures of <laughs> Philadelphia and like basketball players on the wall, and I have my law degree stuffed in a corner. I actually just pulled it <laughs> out because one of my nurses was over, and I she's newer, and I was just talking to her. I was like, oh yeah, when I was in law school, it's like you went to law. Like she was gonna fall over, so I pulled out the. There's like a quarter inch of dust piled up on it. That's great. I just I tell people all the time if they want to cross my name out and write theirs in, they can have it. It's just just for show at this point. 